In this video, I'm going to work out a couple examples of just using that average rate of change formula. Up here in the corner, I've got that formula written down, f of b minus f of a, all over b minus a. We're going to have some general instructions here that just say find the average rate of change for the given function on the given interval. So in this first example here, we're going to look at the function f of x is equal to 3x squared on the interval from 1 to 3. All right, now, um, if you've worked a lot with these intervals, um, most people uh, generally associate the first one with A and the second one with B. So there's my B value, there's my A value. Okay, same thing for that one over here. The first one is going to be my A value, the second one's going to be my B value. All right, now, this on top is just function notation, and then B minus A is just B minus A on the bottom. So if I were to work this one out, I would substitute B in um, for my... Um, into my function, so I would have f of 3 for notation there, minus f of 1, all over 3 minus 1. Okay, now, function notation, taking 3, plugging it into the function, so 3 squared is 9 times 3 is going to give me a 27, and then plugging 1 into the function, 1 squared times 3 is going to give me a 3, and then 3 minus 1 on the bottom will give me a 2. All right, simplifying there, I'll have a 24 over 2, which gives me an average rate of change of 12. All right, working in the second example out here, f of x is equal to x squared plus 2. Again, plugging b into the function, plugging a into the function, I'm going to have an f of 4 minus an f of 2 all over 4 minus 2. Two. All right, using your function notation, this says take 4, plug it into the function. So 4 squared is 16, plus 2 more is going to be 18. And then taking 2, plugging it into the function, 2 squared is 4, plus 2 more is going to be 6. 4 minus 2 is going to give me a 2. That's going to leave me with a 12 over 2, and an average rate of change of 6. So, two very straightforward examples of just using that average rate of function, uh, average rate of change when given a function and an interval. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification and share with your friends so they can benefit too. Thanks.